So it seems like Lovely Peaches has been banned from TikTok and this is why guys and a quick trigger warning because this stuff is extremely serious. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, subscribe to the channel and let's get into this video. Once again, I would like to reiterate a trigger warning because this information is serious. So serious that you've got me out here making videos about TikTok users and stars and I really don't do that at all. But this is just tremendously weird. But we have Lovely Peaches, who is a TikToker that has been banned from TikTok after threatening Charlie D'Amelio. Now, for those of you who don't know who she is, she is obviously the biggest star from TikTok. Controversial shows to media personality, Brittany Lovely Peaches Johnson has been banned from TikTok after she posted a video where she claimed to have hired somebody to SEX assault Charlie D'Amelio. Now, that in itself to me is bizarre. It's very weird, the fact that you would hire someone. One could also argue that you're doing it for attention, you're doing it for clout, because anybody would do anything for any form of attention because it brings them this gratification that they so much desire. Peaches has less than a million followers on TikTok before being banned and has one million Instagram followers. She gained popularity by posting controversial videos, often including exposing herself in public. Peaches has also penned songs that have tracked um, and have been trending on TikTok within itself. And now she's drawn a lot of attention by what has happened. She has frequently commented and interacted with other stars, including Diego, Noah, and now Charlie D'Amelio. In one of Charlie's recent Instagram lives, she wrote, Charlie, please sleep with Noah, and made references to, you know, SEX kind of toys. But now I feel like she has just gone way too far. Just, just with what she's saying and what she's doing, I feel like it's just way too much. It has left a lot of TikTok people horrified and multiple Twitter users say they are disgusted that the peaches should go to jail um, whilst often you know starting petitions to take her off the platform. To, to claim that you're hiring somebody to RAPE somebody and you're posting about it with joy is genuinely worrying. But me personally, I feel like there is a deeper conversation that needs to be had when it comes to people like peaches. I feel like j there is some kind of mental, mental you know, there's a lack thereof, let's just say, or mental stability. And I would like to know where that would come from. I always want to go to the childhood. I, I really want to really study somebody's childhood and understand why somebody acts the way they do. What happened to this particular girl when she was a young girl in her childhood? What are the trigger points? Because she seems to do a lot of stuff online. She would comes across to me as if someone who would do anything online to gain some kind of attention. Perhaps trying to grasp attention because of the lack thereof attention while she was growing up as a child and she obviously lacked attention, therefore lacked validation and therefore would seek validation through other external sources as she grows up because it may provide her with something and nourishes her and fills this empty void that always needs to be filmed that always needs to be um, filled sorry because it's kind of like an addiction this is like some kind of theory that i'm getting from my psyche background you know you wanted to study someone's childhood and need for validation and this is why you're acting the way you do but to make stuff like this about you're hiring people and you hired someone to do rap on somebody else you should be taken off platforms because it is disgusting she has been banned from tiktok but she's still on instagram let me know your thoughts are on this please do subscribe click that button for daily and consistent content head over to my instagram and i'll catch you guys soon for another another video.